At Alien Gear Holsters, we are proud to equip our first responders with a faster, more secure, and durable way to carry. Hi, I'm Tim, and today I'll be guiding you on how to wear and adjust the Rapid Force Duty Holster. In this video, I'll be covering how the holster works, how to customize it for your hand size, how to attach it to your belt, how to configure each of the different ways to carry, and more. I have it all broken down into sections in the description of this video, so if you want to jump ahead or restart a section, feel free to do that below. The first thing you want to do when you receive your holster is visually inspect that you received everything that you purchased. If you purchase from a store, you will have received a clamshell like this or a bag if you ordered online. If you ordered from a store, verify that the seal on your box isn't broken and that no one before you has removed anything. If you didn't purchase the holster yourself, look for a product manual which should show you everything that should be included with the holster or expansion. On the top corner of the package, check to make sure that you received the correct configuration and that the holster is for the correct gun. After that, open it up and familiarize yourself with the manual or manuals that you received. You should have received additional hardware with any Rapid Force Duty holster in a spare hardware pack. Keep in mind that the standard buttons are already on your holster. Now, test fit your unloaded firearm into the holster to verify it fits correctly. There's a label on the holster itself right here to make sure it's for your model of firearm. If you have a light or optic, be sure to test those out now as well. You may feel that your holster is a bit too loose or tight for your firearm. From here, adjust the passive retention of the holster. Find the Allen key included with the hardware to make adjustments on the muzzle end of your holster. Depending on which firearm model you have, this may be located in a slightly different spot. Use the indicator to gauge how tight your draw is, more bars for more retention, and give it a test to make sure it's not too tight or loose. It works by adjusting the grip on the slide. Here's an internal look at how it works. Next, let's take a look at how the level 2 and 3 retention work. When you push the push button right here, your hood is opened. And when you swipe the thumb swipe here, your firearm is released from the ejection port lock. The next thing you want to do is get the correct button sizes for your hand and preference to get the best draw possible. Using GMR technology or gross motor response, your hand should be oriented to drive your shooting hand thumb down and back in one fluid motion. To figure out what button sizes work best for you, place the holster on your belt, molly, or drop leg. For this example, I'm using the belt slide. Detach the belt slide spacer for now and set aside. We'll secure it back in later. There are three sizes of push buttons and three sizes of thumb swipes. In general, the taller buttons are for shorter hands, and the shorter buttons are for larger hands. To figure out which works best for you, fully depress the push button and hold it. From here, your hand should be fully seated with the high grip on the back strap. If not, try switching buttons. If your hand needs to be lower, try the shorter button. This button here is called the thumb swipe and should be sized to engage efficiently and comfortably. If you're not engaging it easily, try the longer swipe. Or if it's obtrusive, use the shorter swipe. Remove the screws with the 3.30 seconds hex key included with the hardware pack and not a drill. Be sure it's fully seated and straight in to prevent stripping. After you're happy with the size of buttons on your holster, it's time to secure them in place with the small container of blue thread locker included with your holster. For each screw that you remove and replace, add one drop of blue thread locker and not more. For the belt slide configuration, your holster is now ready to secure to your belt. After you know where you want it oriented on your belt, insert the belt slide spacer. It can accommodate 1.5, 1.75, 2, and 2 and a quarter inch belts by rotating it upside down and using the indicated belt size markers. If you're using the high ride belt slide, your spacer will look like this and only accommodates 2 and 2 and a quarter inch belts by flipping it upside down. Add a drop of blue thread locker to these screws as you'll want to leave the belt slide attached to your belt. We offer low, standard, and high belt slide options, and each can be canted 7 degrees forward or backwards by changing the screws on the back. We also offer this thigh strap to further secure the low belt slide option. 
If you added one to your order, place the strap between the belt slide and the triangle screw pattern on the back of the holster. Then secure the belt slide in place with one drop of blue thread locker per screw. Adjust the strap as needed and you're ready to go. If the protocols of your job require you to carry in different configurations on different belts or have the need to remove your gun and holster temporarily, consider buying the QDS Quick Detach System. It will make your holster a little wider, but allows you to remove your holster with two fingers on the QDS receiver. Switch between the belt slide, the surface mount, molly, drop leg, and paddle expansion packs. To assemble the drop leg holster, mount the holster to the thigh plate with the triangular spacer or attach a QDS receiver with screws inserted from the inside of the thigh plate. Depending on which you attach will determine which length of screws to use. Don't forget one drop of blue thread locker for every screw. Next, clip the thigh straps around your leg, adjust them to fit, and determine how high you want your holster to rest on your leg. After you've determined this, trim any excess length off and detach the webbing crimps with pliers. The drop leg holster also comes with the option to mount accessories. This is the accessory mount, and this is the offset bar. You mount your accessories to the accessory mount, and if you need more space between the accessory and the gun, or your accessory is extra wide, the offset bar can be used to move your accessory further over to the side. Each mount is labeled on the back to match with the back of the thigh plate, A or B. The A's go with the A's, and the B's go with the B's. To attach your accessory, weave its belt loop on the accessory mount. Next, screw on the mount by inserting the screws from the back of the thigh plate. Use the inner holes on the mount if possible, or the outer holes if the belt loop of the accessory is too wide. To move your accessory further to the side with the offset bar, first mount the offset bar, then the accessory mount the same way you would have to the thigh plate. Also to note, some accessories don't have a belt loop but instead have a native mounting system that is compatible with the holes in the center of the accessory mount. The Molly expansion should come pre-assembled, but you may want to adjust the cant on the holster to 5, 23, or 40 degrees from horizontal. To change the cant, remove the Molly forks to gain access to the screws that hold your triangular spacer or QDS receiver. Don't forget to add one drop of blue thread locker to each screw you remove. When you're ready to lock the forks of the Molly expansion onto the webbing, you have two options of lock sizes and you're probably going to use the regular lock. The Molly fork extends the length of three webs, so use the regular lock if possible, or the extended lock if you have two back-to-back -back webs and no third web. The paddle expansion attaches to your holster with either the triangular spacer or the QDS receiver from the outside of the paddle. Use one drop of blue thread locker to secure it in place. The paddle expansion is also compatible with the Alien Gear Shape Shift and the Cloak Mod holsters, which are what these extra holes are for on the back. Now you're ready to flex the paddle over your belt to secure it in place. To remove the paddle from your belt, flex the bottom of the paddle with your other hand or use the QDS receiver if you have it. The surface mount expansion is the perfect addition to the quick detach system if you ordered it with your holster. It comes by default with the QDS receiver and the surface mount expansion. You should already have the QDS attachment on your holster and the QDS receiver on your other expansion, so you should be able to quickly switch from mount to mount. Choose to mount the surface mount to surfaces such as your desk, vehicle, wall, or any other hard surface. With the surface mount held in place where you want to mount it, use a pencil or starter punch to mark your hole positions. Use the screws that match the surface you're mounting to, such as sheet metal screws, plastic screws, wood screws, or drywall and anchor screws. 
It's important that you keep your equipment clean and maintained for optimal use, and that includes your holster. Routine maintenance should include cleaning and verifying that all of your screws are secure. If you get mud, dirt, blood, or any kind of debris on or in your holster, use some soap, water pressure, and a brush, especially in the nooks and crannies to make sure everything stays in working order. The bottom of the holster is designed to allow debris to fall through and can also be used to clean from both sides. You should never have to fully disassemble your holster and it's not recommended to do so. When you're finished setting up your holster, be sure to save your manuals if you need to make changes in the future. If you have questions, concerns, or need help in any way, contact our customer service department. We pride ourselves in offering the best customer service that the industry has to offer, so don't be afraid to reach out. The Rapid Force Duty Holster comes with a 30-day test drive and full manufacturer warranty. Thanks for choosing Alien Gear and supporting the hardworking men and women in the USA making these holsters. Learn more at aliengearholsters.com.